Are you prepared to stand before me? Word given September 20th, 2022 by Abby K. 1 John 2.28 And now, little children, abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Transcript a lot of things are about to happen, daughter. All that was already set in motion is about to manifest in the physical. This will be both at an individual level and globally as well. What has been sown from ages past is about to be reaped. Prophecies that were long ago foretold are about to take place right before your eyes and at the shock of the world. My warnings are finally being fulfilled, as told, and many will remember these warnings by what they will see with their very own eyes. Some will live to repent, but many will be swept away unprepared to stand before me. What will be their excuse? Even many in my church will find themselves before me unprepared, and what will their excuse be? My warnings have only served to draw you to me and not away from me. But you have allowed fear and unbelief to get the best of you. Now, what say you as you find yourself before me? There will be no going back. It is appointed for all men to die once, then judgment. Many will find themselves before me sooner than they think. Yet they continue to allow the cares of this life to distract them from what is important, and that is their eternity, their souls. I grieve for those ones because they are now at a point of no return. These happenings are about to tear into your realm to become your new reality. It cannot be stopped, and no more time will be given. The only time is now until you see it, and that is very soon. You have chosen your gods, you have made your beds, and now it's time you lie in them. To my bride, prepare for the work ahead is about to start. As the wise virgins, yours will be to rescue many from the darkness that will hit the earth, to bring them to my truth and light, that they will finally see me. Arise and shine, for the time has come for me to pour forth my glory. The work is plenty, but it is ripe to be harvested, and my laborers have been in preparation for this great and mighty harvest. From the ends of the earth you will ring in the harvest. Darkness may have covered the earth, but my glory will bring salvation to the darkened hearts and minds. And they too, once liberated, will shine greatly to drive away this darkness. On that great and mighty day I will pour out my Spirit on all, and they will prophesy and do great exploits. You will defeat the evil entities that will be roaming the earth in what will seem like scenes out of an action thriller movie. And nothing will be impossible for you. My spirit will be fully at work in you, raising a standard unlike the enemy has ever seen or known. Knees will bow down and tongues will willingly confess that indeed I am God. I am sovereign. I am mighty, creator of the universe from whom, through whom, and for whom are all things. Evil knows not the extent of my wrath and it will be on full display. So be ready, my bride. Time is very close. Continue to set your hearts and minds on things above as you call upon my mercy for the lost and perishing souls. I will hear and I will show mercy, but my judgments will fall on the wicked and unrepentant. You are armored, ready to be unleashed with power and authority. You have been sealed for this, for such a time as this. Hallelujah. And that is the end of this message. Scriptures to go with this beautiful word is 
Jude 1 24, 1 Thessalonians 5 23 through 24, Galatians 6 7, Hebrews 9 27, Luke 21 34 through 36, John 4 35 through 38, Daniel 11 32, Isaiah 59 19, Isaiah 45 18, Colossians 3 1 through 2, Ephesians 6 13, and Revelation 7 2 through 3. As always, take what you hear to the Lord Jesus Christ for any and all needed confirmations. As always, God bless you and Shalom.